And I was like, you're the piggy, and then she kicked me in the leg. Hey, wait a second, what are you doing here? Ah! Ah! Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you guys another set of awesome mods and these mods are called the Iron Dimension mod and the Unnecessary Explosions mod from Minecraft 1.4.7. These two mods are pretty cool mods, they're still work in progress and both of these mods were found by a buddy of mine on Twitter. His name is Aiden and here's his message right there. That's Aiden, that's my buddy. He has found these two mods and I'm gonna go ahead and review them and show you guys what these mods are about. So these mods are found in Planet Minecraft. I'm gonna have links to them in the description below so you guys could download them and have fun with them so first off let's check out the iron dimensions mod so as you guys would expect it's gonna add in a new dimension that's gonna be full of iron and here it is this is the portal to the iron dimension and in order to lit it up you need a flint and steel so grab yourself all of these blocks of iron look at all of these there's so much resources you have to spend in order just to reach this dimension so nine iron nine iron all i don't even know how much this is in total but that's a lot of iron but uh you know hardcore minecraft players out there you guys could obtain iron like super fast not even using x-ray i could obtain like a thousand iron <laughs> you guys know me so anyways how about we just light up this portal and there we go so it's just like a regular nether portal but without any sound so you build it five high and four wide and there you go and then light it up and let's go to the iron dimension we're just gonna jump right in and it should be able to lead us to this new dimension look at this place it looks amazing what's this a gold dimension I'll, I'll review this later on but here I am inside this new dimension it looks amazing and also everywhere you see there's gonna be iron golems because this is the land of the iron golems so um as you guys would see there's some iron golems over there and there's also some iron cows so these are the mobs that you usually find around the iron dimension and you see there's some iron golems and also you see some of these buggy iron cows now now these iron cows, if you kill them, they're gonna drop some super iron ingots. So let's go ahead and kill this one. And also, if you notice one thing, there's gonna be explosions when this cow dies because uh, I do have another mod installed called the Unnecessary Explosions, which will cause a lot of unnecessary things to happen. So how about I just kill this cow and- it, Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So as you guys saw right there, there was some explosions. That's because I have another mod installed, which I'm gonna review after this mod, but you kinda saw what it did. So uh, anyways, let's grab this iron ingot and this is called a super iron ingot. So uh, if you kill these cows, that's how you obtain them. If you kill these iron golems, they're just gonna drop iron. There is a huge variety of items and blocks that this mod adds into this new dimension. So how about we go over there and check them out? Here they are. How about we check out the blocks first and then we'll talk about the items and what they do later on. So here they are. If you notice, this new grass over here is called the iron grass. How, you know, <laughs> what do you know? It's, it's called iron grass. I, I didn't expect it to be called iron grass, but it is. So here's iron grass. If you happen to harvest that, you're going to get iron dirt. And here is some soft iron. What soft iron is, just think of it as stone, but it's just named differently and it's colored differently. So here's some iron dirt that you would obtain from the iron grass over there. Here is a regular iron block. I'm not sure why I placed that down. Also, in creative mode or in too many items, you could obtain the iron portal. <laughs> this is an iron portal. So there is no animation with the iron portal. Also, here is an iron log, which there is isn't any trees that generate around this dimension but uh, I went ahead and just made me a lonely tree right here because he's the only one alive and there isn't any saplings that go along with this mod so um if you happen to find a tree somewhere which I you know which I doubt but if you happen to find a tree and it drops a sapling then you're very lucky because there is no saplings in this mod so here's an iron log here's an iron leaves and when you happen to harvest the iron log and put into your crafting table then you could get some iron planks right over here is a super iron ore and you obtain this underground because ores do generate around this world there are two different ores that generate such as the super iron ore and over here we have ourselves a radioactive iron ore which has a light value and it's really rare it's just like finding diamonds in the overworld but instead you have to find this right here oh i broke it <laughs> no whoa, whoa. It, it just came back i'm not sure how that happened but uh there you go so here's in radioactive iron ore and you find that just like diamonds anyways let's go back over here there's iron planks over here is a super iron block and in order to make one of these you just grab these super irons you place them just like making a regular solid block and and you just make yourself a super iron block uh, just to store ores you know efficiently so if you want to save all your ores and stuff if you happen to harvest so much of the super iron you could just uh, stack it up into blocks so over here is a iron brick and in order to make that you see here's a crafting grid right here so you just need four iron and you just make yourself an iron brick also if you're in survival mode you could harvest these things really quick so if you see over here this is iron grass but look how fast you could actually harvest this I'm expecting it to be just like iron it should be a little bit more stronger since it is iron uh, but there you go you could just punch grass and it'll just like disappear in like a matter of seconds here's some soft iron which should be stone you just harvest that and it'll drop the stone itself and that's pretty much it this is everything that it adds in as in blocks and also once you 
find the super iron ore and also the radioactive iron ore, you just mine it and it's going to take a little while. But once you mine it, you're going to get the block itself and then you have to smelt it into a furnace and then you could be able to get yourself a radioactive ingot, which is right there. And here is a super iron ingot, which is displayed right there. So how about we check out what you could use those ingots for? You could craft the various tools. You could craft so much cool armor. Let's check this out right here. So let's start off with these planks over here. These planks will make an iron stick. So you just grab two planks, you place it like so and you just make a regular stick. But instead it's an iron stick and you just grab that and that's how you make most of the tools. Over here is a regular iron, uh, super iron ingot. And what you do with the super iron ingot is you can make various armors and also tools. So here are the tools and since it is considered super iron ingots, uh, they are really strong. So they are stronger than iron ingots. So they're a little bit more stronger. That's pretty cool. And also the armor is a little bit more stronger as well. And right over here is the radioactive iron ingot. And what the radioactive iron ingot does, just look at it. It You could already see that it's shiny and it's like enchanted. So you already know it's going to be as great as diamonds. So you can make radioactive armor, which I'm not sure why you would put it on yourself. You could probably kill yourself. But uh, in this mod, it doesn't really matter if it's radioactive or not. You could place it on your body and you're not going to get harmed. But uh, the radioactive iron ingot is as strong as diamond and also here's the tools that you could get and in order to find these you could go mining straight down and you could be able to find something down there how about we just like mine straight down and see what there is to come so right here is some soft iron and soft iron just like I said it's just like stone and also while you're mining you could have a high chance of finding some iron blocks so that's another efficient way of finding some iron blocks you just go mining and you should be able to find some of these iron blocks but I haven't found really anything around me so uh, this mining trip was really worth nothing because I didn't find any ores but let's head all the way back up and show you the rest of the things which I was gonna show you such as the new gold dimension so the mod creator is planning on adding in a ton of new dimensions from iron to maybe even lapis all of the ores the mod creator is still working on this mod he's gonna add in a lot of new dimensions and also he's gonna fix the tree bug where trees will start to generate around this dimension and also he probably might put a Sun because there is no Sun or moon in the new dimension and he's probably gonna add in more ores and whatnot so how about we go to the gold dimension which he's still working on so let's light this up and here it is let's jump in here and we should be able to find the gold dimension and everything looks so gold and looks so nice and also there is no Sun and the sky seems to be looking very weird when you just like look around but how about we check out the new blocks that are added into this gold dimension such as gold grass now it's just like iron grass but just retextured over here is some soft gold such as it's just like stone but uh, it's just retextured right over here is the gold dirt and uh, you just obtain the gold dirt by just harvesting the gold grass over here is the portal that you could obtain in creative mode or too many items or not enough items so you can obtain the portal and just come here if you like over here is the gold brick which you know how to pretty much craft you just grab yourself some ingots let's just do this right now I'm gonna grab some ingots I'm gonna go into survival mode right over here grab these ingots and place it like so and there you go that's how you make yourself a gold brick and you can place it down and there you have it also there are some extra things that this mod creator added in such as this block which he called America this is the America block so uh, there's the America block and over here some extra stuff such as a freedom item <laughs> the freedom item over here is diabetes diabetes I, I i don't know what he's trying to do with with that here is the second amendment i don't know if this mod is supposed to add in some freedom stuff but it does so here is some gold iron golem spawners and here's the gold iron golem now these gold golems they will spawn around the world i call them gold iron golem i'm not sure why i did that because it kind of does look like he still has iron on his body but uh this is the golden golem and he'll just spawn everywhere around here if you happen to slay him let's see what he drops i'm gonna slay this monster whoa he, he went pretty far on this oh he's attacking me back does that normally happen in minecraft but i'm gonna take him down with the iron sword and look what he drops he drops himself a flower and he drops two gold ingots so how about we check out the, the next thing so i think i I've covered everything inside here also there is a spawner and there you go so they're gonna start spawning these golems and if we took a look over here wait what, what are you doing to my way get out of here anyways uh, if we take a look over here he's not even hurting me what is he doing so over here the mod creator is still working on a new dimension it's gonna be the diamond dimension and here it is the diamond dimension he does have some blocks that you could obtain in creative mode here is the diamond grass itself and the soft diamond and over here is the diamond portal but if you happen to go into this portal um, it doesn't seem to work so let's grab this flame still and light up this portal it doesn't seem to work because this mod still hasn't added it in if we come over here to the diamond portal we'll go next to it it's gonna take us back to the overworld so that means that he's still working on it and there you guys have it that is the iron dimensions mod it's a really cool mod if you guys want the download for the mod links in the description or you could click on the annotation above how about we check out the next mod so the next mod is called the 
unnecessary explosions mod and trust me um i didn't know if i was going to review this mod or not because i normally don't review like really 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 small mods but in this case i'm going to go ahead and review this one i'm going to change the time into daytime now I'm gonna load up these items. So this mod changes four things in Minecraft. First off, eggs could do explosions. Second off, snowballs could do explosions. Arrows could do explosions. And also when creepers blow up, they're gonna die for sure. Because sometimes I'm not sure if creepers explode and they live through it. I'm not sure if that's one of the features that the mod creator added in. Anyways, let's check out these three features right here. If we throw a normal egg. So check this out. There's a village over here. I haven't really, you know, messed around with the villagers yet. But uh, check this out. I'm gonna throw an egg. And yeah, you could already expect what happened if it launched me far away when you throw an egg it does massive damage look it's still exploding also if you notice e oh man another thing to know about this mod is even exp orbs will emit explosions and sound effects like crazy so if we grab ourselves a bottle of enchantment so let me spell that in right here here's a bottle of enchantment if i throw this down it's going to cause explosions check this out so i threw it down and there we go these little EXP orbs also have explosions, which makes it look pretty cool, but I just don't like the, the sound. It's just really repetitive and it's super loud. So how about we try out the egg once again? I'm going to throw this, and look at that. It pushes you back, and it goes through the floor, and it causes such explosions. It already hit bedrock. That's how far it made it down. So here's a snowball. If you throw this down, anything that hits, it's going to cause a huge explosion. Let's try this mountainside. I'm going to throw it, and check out the mountain. It's going to blow itself up and it's gone it reminds me of the uh, explosive plus mod where it does all of these massive explosions also the bone and arrow if you happen to shoot a bone and arrow any arrow that hits any block or mob it's gonna cause an explosion like so that's pretty cool and look you can see it coming down there so if you guys want to cause like major griefing in any village or town then there you have it look at this i just destroyed the roof of this place and also if i throw a snowball this whole entire house is gone check this out oh it's gone it just caused a lot of lag because it's a huge explosion, but the house is entirely gone. You didn't even see where it went. It must have like flew up in the sky somewhere, but there you have it. Also, EXP Orbs does emit sounds, like I said, and that is basically it's about the unnecessary explosions mod. It does add in some unnecessary explosions that we don't really want in Minecraft, but uh, you guys could use this just for some fun, just to throw at houses and see if they explode or not. Anyways, guys, if you guys are interested of any of these mods that I showed you guys today, such as the Iron Dimensions mod or even this unnecessary explosion, mod and if you guys want to know how to install these mods well then let's go ahead and see how to install these mods I apologize if this mod review was kind of like weird it's because I was recording like a ton of videos today and my voice is giving out but um I could still record this video and show you guys how to install this mod so anyways guys let's go ahead and see how to install these mods these mods are really easy to install Alright, so let's go ahead and install these mods. The first thing I'm going to do, of course, before installing this mod is go here to Options and Force Ultimate Game. The reason why I'm going to Force Ultimate Game is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, I always recommend to back them up because you're never too sure if this mod is compatible with any of your mods. If this, if any of these mods are not compatible with any of your mods, then you're going to get yourself a black screen and you won't be happy. So Options, Force Update, and Login to download a brand new Minecraft Dodger in which we're going to mod. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this updating, so I'm going to minus this, and you guys are going to get the download trailer my description it's going to take you to my website you're going to get minecraft forge universal the iron dimensional doors i uh, not dimensional doors the iron dimensions mod and the unnecessary explosions mod so get these two downloads i mean three downloads from my uh, website or you can actually get them at the planet minecraft anyways get these and once you are ready to install these mods well then let's install them i'm going to go here to start search a program file i'm going to type in percent app data percent and for windows xp users somewhere around there you should see run and you're on percent that ever sent and it should take you up here to the roaming folder click on the roaming folder and you should see dom minecraft in the very top you're going to go into your dom minecraft folder you're going to see bin resources save and everything else go into your bins folder before you open up your minecraft dot jar is located in your bin folder you have to make sure you have your minecraft game closed here's my minecraft game that i just forced updated you have to exit off your minecraft game before installing any mods so exit off your game now you're going to right click your minecraft dot jar is located in your bin folder you're going to open that up with winrar so right click minecraft dot jar open with winrar so open that up and you're going to move that aside so the first thing you have to do of course before installing any mods is to delete meta if you have to delete meta if so um right click meta if 
and just delete files. There you go. So right click, delete files, say yes, and there you go. You have deleted MetaInf and you are ready for the next step. We're going to open up Minecraft Forge Universal. Double click Minecraft Forge Universal and move it aside. So once you have opened up Minecraft Forge Universal, select on any file that you like and press Control A to highlight all the files for Minecraft Forge Universal. So highlight all the files and simply drag them all into your Minecraft.jar side with a little bit. And then while this is doing all its stuff, and replace right here. This is what we had to look for. And replace, just press OK. And once you have press OK, you are ready to install the uh, the next two mods. So exit off your Minecraft uh, Forge Universal section and move it aside. Now you need the Iron Dimensions mod. You have to install both these mods directly into your Minecraft.jar. <clears throat> these mods do edit base classes. So uh, how about we get started? I'm going to open up the Iron Dimensions mod. Oh, move that aside. You're going to select on any file that you like and press Control A to highlight all the files from Minecraft, um, the Iron Dimensions. So uh, once you highlight all the files from the Iron Dimensions, simply drag it on into your Minecraft.jar side. Wait a little bit and replace, press OK, and you are done with the Iron Dimensions. Exit that off and move it aside. So now you need the Unnecessary Explosions mod. Open that up and move it aside. You're going to see a lot of files from Unnecessary Explosions mod. Highlight all those files and simply drag them all into your Minecraft.jar side and replace, press OK, and you are officially done. That is basically how to install these mods. They're very, very simple. And if you guys need help, if you guys any have any issues, then be sure to check out my help forums because you could post a topic there and maybe I'll end up going there and helping you out. But uh, usually I'm very busy. I got uh, I got another video to make after this, so hopefully I won't be dead by now. Anyways, there we go. You can see right here, seven mods have been loaded. And once it says that, or even four mods, two mods, doesn't really matter. If you go here to the mod section and you scroll down, you'll see right here, not enough items. Actually, that's not enough items. If you look right down here, it says mod underscore iron and mod underscore freedom. And once you are have officially installed those, then you are officially set. You are done. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy this video. Uh, I'm, I'm very tired, but I'm still making these videos. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you. And I'm free. <laughs> I'm free falling.